Okay, we're here today with Mr. Z. We have one missing. That's Ninja Coach. She was not feeling well today. But we do have Thunderbolt, our guest star pupil, cheerleader. Cheerleader. And we have Me. Music yeah. Notes. Yes, no longer Dust Rider. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So today we asked you guys what your favorite number was. Seven. Who? So yours is seven. Thunderbolt Mine is twelve. Is twelve? Mm. All right. And then what about you, cheerleader? Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. So why? Why is that your favorite number? Music note. Because seven is my favorite. Thing. Why? 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 Because why? I saw it in a movie, and then they were like. How do you feel when you see seven? You feel perfect? Yeah. Mm, complete. Okay. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. When you see the number 12, how do you, how, how do you feel? Why do you like 12? Because I can turn into Thunderbolt letters. Okay. So, what does that mean? How do you, why do you like 12? Because, like, an easy number where then I'll be able to, like, make it into different things. So, give me a demonstration of what you're talking like, about. Like, I can turn the number 12 into, like, let me get a marker. Oh. He's going to touch one of my markers. He's not supposed to touch. Uh-huh. All right. Mm -hmm. So, like, I can do this. Mm-hmm. That's what I was thinking you were saying, that you can get creative with it. So it brings out your creativity. Okay. Very good. Thank you. And then cheerleader, when you see your favorite number, which is what? 13. 13. Why do you like 13? How does it make you feel? Everybody says it's this spooky. So how does it make you feel when you see 13? You tell me that's what everybody else feels. How do you feel when you see 13? Please stop, Thunderbolt. Oh, you feel fearless. Hmm. You feel bold. All right. It brings out your leadership. All right. All right. So how often do you see your favorite number? Anybody? Me. Hmm. Really? Uh -huh. I see my favorite number for like... We're practicing pencil safety. Good. So how often do you see your favorite number? Anybody? A okay. Um, I need to like a realistic type of thing. If you that really mean a trillion, a that means a lot. Then tell me where do you see it a trillion times? In Osquad. And where? Osquad. Uh, music now. And then they do it with seven. You see seven all the time in math. Do you see it anywhere else? Who else sees it in other places besides? Oh, so she says on TV a lot mm -hmm. and in yeah. math. Okay, and you said you see your number when cheerleader. Okay. And usually on like highways. On highways, so street what signs. All highways? right. Highways? Mm -hmm. Driving on the highway? Highway? Oh. Okay. And that was a thing thing. Thunderbolt, when do you see your number? You said you saw billions and trillions and stuff too, so when do you see it? Or where I'll do you see, see it? it? Sometimes on calendars, like March 13th. Certain dates pop out at you? Okay. Well, Anything else? Okay, and then for me, um, my number is was always four and seven. The top number was seven, but I felt this basically the same way about those numbers. Um, unless I had to pick one, then I would say, okay, seven was first, okay? And uh, how did I feel about it? I don't know. It made me feel fast. It made me feel... Um, like I confident, like I can do it. Whatever it was I was doing, and like when I ran track and I got to pick my lane, I was in seven. I knew I was about to just go shine, basically. Mhm. Mm oh. Well, I like that. And then volleyball, I did my thing in volleyball too, and I was wearing my number. But I saw my number in books. I see it when I was um, doing sports. I see it when I was uh, doing and math, watching TV. My number in, is like in signs, like four eleven. Mm -hmm. So, okay, anybody? I see mine more often mm -hmm. on TV mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. on Oxford they do perfect thing because they in make like something that's odd and they make it in on ruler. not odd. Okay. In on ruler. And what are you gonna say, cheerleader? In on ruler. You do. Number. And 
everywhere. For cheerleading, when we run the track mm -hmm. to practice, um, I usually run on seven. Run on seven? Mm-hmm. But um, seven is not your favorite number, so don't run in my lane. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so that right there is what we call number synchronicity. Huh? Okay, and that's when you get messages from the earth from numbers because numbers speak to people. That's why some people are really, really, really good in math and they can tell you exactly what all the numbers mean and how it makes sense because numbers speak to them. Some people don't understand that numbers have a language of their own, okay? And a lot of times we notice these numbers because we'll see patterns. If that's your favorite number, you might see 722777 or something, and then you know that your number is showing up a whole bunch for you. But how does it make you feel at that time? If your number is showing up like that for you and around your world, if it's showing up like that for you around your world, like when you're about to, um, you know, go somewhere and you see that on like a birthday invitation or something, you'll be like, yeah, this is something I want to do. Or if you're about to make a decision and somebody says, who wants to come volunteer to do this? And your number 13 shows up, you might just be like, that's my number. And you can be so bold. And that's your sign that go ahead and be bold. Yep, do it. And then if your number shows up, um, seven, how are you going to feel just perfect whenever you see that? And mm -hmm. Eva's here. So if it's time for you to make a decision and you see a seven, that should go ahead. That is perfectly in alignment. And it's because it's ocean. And then you, Thunderbolt, when you see your number 12, you're going to get creative. So you said you see it a lot when you have your rulers and stuff like that and your math. There's one more way I can draw it that I know how to. So that means you're going to be a great engineer, architect type of person. With your little cars you want to build and stuff. Building? So, guys, remember that that throughout your, your life, these numbers are going to speak to you. You might even have other numbers that you may start to, that may start to catch your eye. They're speaking to you. Every time you see numbers, it's speaking to you. Yeah. Stop and think what, how you're feeling when you see that number, and then you'll know exactly what it's trying to say to you, okay? Yes, yeah, so you can say something. I knew that it was going to be seven because in Odd Squad, Ocean's favorite number is seven. She is straight advertising for Odd Squad. Okay. Odd Squad's my favorite. Okay, what did they write on the board? Two. Oh, they're decorating their favorite number. Can I? Oh, Lauren, you, you do three. Like twelve. Oh, she like twelve now too, I guess. <laughs> Look at Lauren. I like all the numbers. Yeah. All right. You know. He did his Thunderbolt. Oh, he did a ladder this time and the Thunderbolt one. Yeah. yeah. Right, and that's almost like you're trying to write like Chinese writing or Korean writing or something yeah, like that when you gym. when you did this right. one. Huh? When you did the Thunderbolt one? No, I yeah. know how to speak. Looks in like Korean. characters. No, it's like characters. No, I know how to speak in Jap and I know how to speak in Egyptian. We yeah. Yeah. There you go. And that's her fearless drawing. Yeah. This is mine. That's your seven? Huh? That's your seven? We're drawing our, our number. That's your seven? I'm just drawing it to me. Maris, we're drawing our numbers. Let's draw our numbers, please. Participate. Thank you for participating. Wait. Seven. This is the original one. This is the original one I always draw. <laughs> this is the second original. This is the third original. All right. Mr. Z and Company, please take a bow. Mr. Z and Company, please take a bow. I just took a bow. Cheerleader? Yeah.